Plants That Eat Animals by Alan Fowler. All plants need water and minerals to grow. Most plants get them from the soil. Some plants grow in soil that has few minerals in it. They get food by trapping small animals. The Venus flytrap grows in wetlands in North and South Carolina. It is about 12 inches tall and has white flowers. Each leaf looks like a clam's shell. It has sharp spines around the edges and soft hairs inside. The leaf gives off a sweet juice that attracts insects. When an insect touches the hairs on a Venus flytrap's leaf, the two halves snap shut. The plant slowly breaks down the insect's body and removes the minerals. Then the leaf opens up again. Sundew plants grow in wet, boggy areas all over the world. Each leaf has soft, red hairs with drops of sticky liquid on the tips. When an insect gets stuck to a few hairs, all the other hairs on that leaf fold over and hold the insect in place. After the plant breaks down the insect's body, the hairs open up again. The sundew is ready for another meal. Can you guess how the pitcher plant got its name? Its leaves are shaped like a pitcher and hold a sweet liquid. When an insect crawls down into the pitcher, it gets stuck inside. It cannot climb back up the slippery sides. The insect drowns in the liquid. There are many different kinds of pitcher plants. Here's a, trumper pitcher, a trumpet pitcher plant, a purple pitcher plant, and a flytrap pitcher plant. Bladder warts live in ponds. Their leaves are covered with tiny bags called bladders. If an insect or small fish touches one of the bladders, it opens up and sucks the animal inside. You probably know many animals that eat plants. Now you know some plants that eat animals. Words you know. Bladderwort, insect, leaf, pitcher plant, sundew plant, Venus flytrap, That was Plants That Eat Animals by Alan Fowler. And this is EDU Kids Space. Subscribe for more stories, books, and lessons. And if there's something in particular you'd like to learn about, leave us a message in the comments.